Over the wall! <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Blazing Beaks. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do it again today. We've got another level to uncover. I won't go in that red door. We got platypus, we got blue bird, we got chicken. I'm gonna go with parrot today because we haven't done him yet, I don't believe. And he's got like a slowing effect to his weapons. So, um, very, very nice. I like him a lot. And go ahead and take some dudes down. Yeah. Next episode, obviously, we're gonna do Bluebird, and then finally we'll do Platypus. We'll see how far we can get with each one. It's not necessarily a direct comparison because obviously I uh I've increased my skill a bit since playing with the chicken in the very first episode. So maybe we'll go back do the chicken again. I don't know. I, I, I just can't say because I really like this game. It is being updated. There are plenty of new weapons and items available already. So big big shout out to the developer. Minus one HP and max HP if I don't pick up an artifact. So I'm going to pick up both of these. Why not? Hopefully we'll hit the shop nice and early and hopefully I won't get any artifacts that will fuck me up too bad. And hopefully when we hit the shop, it will uh, it will make everything all worth it and lovely. Oh my god, I'm getting just absolutely butt plundered. And that's it. <laughs> I fucked it up so hard. Okay, retry. Give me this one more again. God damn. How often do I die in the swamps? Not very often. Not these days. But we'll call that a warm-up. <laughs> Just over, over before you know what happened. Alright. That's fine. At least we don't have that weird, like, have to pick up artifacts thing. Because that could be painful. Exceedingly painful. So here we go. Back into it. I was hoping that explosion was going to hit this little bubbly thing over here, but that's not the case. What is it, like an egg sack? I don't know what to call it. Get the key. What's this artifact? Increase explosion range. Yeah. Yeah! And we'll go in this door. Just one chest in this room? There's nothing in the bushes? Come on, hello! I guess that's it. Bye. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. I wasted the key for two coins, but uh, coins are relatively rare. I think Parrot, Parrot gets like a, a reduction to the amount of coins he's able to find, so maybe it's a good thing. Wooden heart, I know, reduces uh, your chance to find hearts, and that's okay because we're not gonna we're not gonna take any hits. That ain't what I'm gonna do today. All right, I ain't into it. All right, another one down. That explosion range is pretty big. Is it 50% bigger? I have to assume that it is. It doesn't seem that much bigger to me, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not uh, thinking correctly. Is there one more? A frog? Oh no, up in the corner here. There's a fucking dude laying eggs! Okay, yeah, the explosion range is definitely bigger. <laughs> I almost got hit while I was grabbing that coin. Alright, take this dude down. Shazam! Got him, coach! And the larger explosion range is actually like a double-edged sword. It's not the worst thing ever. I was able to kill some, some frogs that were invisible with that massive explosion range of mine. Hey, there's the shop. Sweet! Get rid of this frog before he causes trouble. Come on. Get away, get away, get away! Cool. We're doing great! We're doing great! We're moving quick! Don't want to move too quick, though, or else you uh, have a quick death, like I did in the last one. Alright. What's up with it, Mr. Shopman? Oh, and we could buy a random weapon, too. I think I'm gonna do that. Got a compass, got a metal detector. Metal detector, also a double-edged sword, but that's that's just fine. And we got this, uh, what do you call it? I think it's a nail gun. It's got like this very weird trajectory to it. It can shoot over objects and stuff like that though, so maybe it'll be a good thing to have. It's gonna be hard to find a new weapon. Maybe eventually we're gonna have to steal a weapon. Because, yeah, Parrot doesn't get that many coins. So I'm going to need to keep my fingers crossed that we come across something worth stealing. <laughs> and we're back here at the Newt. Hey, hey, Mr. Newt, how you doing? He's only got two skulls today. I guess it's because we have a weapon that's just so awesome. But you do have to hit him 
like in the sweet spot. There is a correct distance or else you're only going to get one hit on him, which is uh, not ideal. I'm trying to take him down quickly. I'm trying to move. You know, speedrun status. It's not a speedrun. It's not a speedrun if you can't even make one loop. And yeah, since the game loops, how can you ever speedrun it? Because it'll just loop back and forth. It, you can have a speedrun to the first loop, I guess. That that counts. <laughs> All right, one more. And he done. And he done. We did so good. Hooray. All right, no hearts. Fortune cookie. When you pick up an artifact, chance of getting loot. So let's pick up this artifact. Didn't get any loot. I'm also going to increase my fire rate. That's fine. Super duper. Neato. Right on, gang. Now we're back in the graveyard. The graveyard that killed us way back in episode one. I got through it in the last episode, and now I plan to get through it again. Yes, indeed. This is what's going to happen now. It's really nice that you can shoot this thing over walls. That is probably the greatest benefit to this gun. There's the shop already. Super early for the shop, but you know what? I ain't going to complain. Maybe we can fight the boss a little early, too, because apparently, if you fight the boss early, uh, he's slightly easier. So, that that could be nice. I could get into that. So, let's go ahead and blast these guys over the wall. Over the wall! Look at this here. Come on, Mr. Worm. Oh, my God. Take your time. We'll wait on you. <laughs> Alrighty. Get in that there shop. Oh, look at all these weapons. My God. Grenade launcher? I kind of want, but I'll wait. Because basically, if I steal the grenade launcher, that is the last weapon that I get. It's over after that. And, uh, yeah. That's not how I want things to be, really. I'd like a real gun. Real gun! It's probably my favorite weapon. Because it doesn't have the, uh, the arcing ability, but it does shoot all the way across the screen no matter what your range is. So you could pick up those negative range, um... Actually, I'm gonna get this splinter, too. Won't accept items until next area. Well, guess what? There's not gonna be another shop in this area, so... So I guess we're good. What happens if I blow all these up at once? Get one coin. Alright! Yeah, stop being cheap with me, game! Come on, man! I thought that was, like, a cool feat to accomplish. Give me an achievement or something. But, yeah. Um... There's guns that can basically take away the effects of artifacts. You know what I mean? Railgun doesn't take distance into account, so um, neither does like the compressor or the guns that are really, really short range. They won't have their distance reduced because their distance is already extremely piss poor, but the, uh, the damage on those is really nice too. I'll go ahead and get my, get my ability going, and it didn't last for as long as I had hoped. But that's okay. There we go. Smack him up. I'm just going to do the boss now. Like I said, we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Might be a short episode. <laughs> All right. Bogey, I've, I've seen you many times. Welcome back to the Thunderdome. He's just going to launch some bones at me. And I'm going to be awesome and get hit by them. <laughs> uh, he's down to half health after only two of those volleys so hopefully hopefully we can just do it right now not quite maybe one more oh boy it's one of those fights you know a little bit difficult for me there we go who yeah activated my ability plundered his butt plus one max hp don't mind if i do poison spearhead don't want it nails don't want it we'll go in the red door this time We'll see what it do over here. Holy God. This is actually pretty cool looking. Did you see that shit? It's like dinosaur dude rolled forward on me. And, oh yeah. And shot me in the face. That is not good. We're going to have to, oh my God. It's like a shotgun boy. We are going to have to be extremely careful here. Good Lord. The shop is uh, up there as well. So we're going to hit that right quick. I don't know, maybe steal a gun. This might be the, near the end of the run anyways. Gas mask, bitter herb. Plus two max HP, but you get one damage. I think that's gonna kill me. I think I have to leave it. I like the railgun. I'm gonna steal the knife arbalist just because we used it in the last episode. 
and uh, ended up dying. But I think it's actually a good weapon if it doesn't have like a bunch of negative range and uh, slowing projectile ability, so... Yeah, it seems to be doing okay. These enemies are really fucking hard to... Yeah, hard to get. <laughs> I need some practice with uh, most of the enemies here. I'm sure there's some secret what they're able to do. And, um, yeah. Practice makes perfect, as they say. If you really want to get your loop going. Alright. Bait. Uh, minus one HP every time your active abilities recharge. That sounds awful. You die instantly by touching any enemy. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I'm going to continue on. See you later. Goodbye, everybody. Damn, this knife arbalist doesn't shoot extremely straight, which is unfortunate. I wish it did, but it just don't seem to. Alright, able to duck in. Oh, shit. There it is. Didn't even get to see the boss. Maybe in the next episode. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. This has been Blazing Beaks. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please join us for the next one. It's going to be super awesome, I promise. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We've got links in the description, Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you'd like to join me on any of those, I'd like to give a big shout out to MMX Akira and Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. Thank you once again, friends. This has been Blazing Beaks. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. <laughs>